Well, good morning, Kid Nation. Happy Friday to you. It's been an amazing week. Uh, I hope you've had a really great time. I hope you've been careful with the heat. It's been real real warm outside. we got to be careful with that. You can get yourself sick. So we want to put on sunscreen, drink lots of water, take a break, you know, go stay in the shade if you've been playing out in the sun quite a bit. The same goes if, if, if you're swimming. you still got to drink some water, okay? Anywho, well, we've been talking about King Nebuchadnezzar. I think you would remember yesterday we talked about him eating all that grass for all the years and, and how that's just, it, it wasn't right. But that was the path that he chose. We're going to see what happened with old King Nebuchadnezzar and, and, and his kingdom after that. So this is out of Daniel chapter 5. Again, I would really encourage you all to read the whole chapter. There's a lot of good stuff in there. We're not going to cover everything. So this is King Nebuchadnezzar's son now that we're talking about. And his name was Belshazzar. Well, they had some interesting names back then. Sometimes it's hard for me to pronounce because of all the Z's and Q's and stuff like that. Anywho, he was the next king of Babylon. One night, he invited a thousand special guests to a big party. While they were drinking wine, Belshazzar gave an order to bring out the gold cups and bowls which his father had taken from the temple in Jerusalem. We'll talk about that here in a minute so you understand what we're talking about. Then he and his friends drank from the special cups that were made especially for the holy temple of the Lord. Suddenly, a hand appeared and started writing on the wall where the light from the lamp shone brightly. The king turned as pale as a sheet and asked if anyone could read the writing, but no one could understand it. In the end, Daniel was called in. He told the king exactly what his dream meant. God has numbered the days of your kingdom and brought it to an end. You have been weighed and have failed the test. Your kingdom will be divided up and given to the Medes and the Persians. So why did God write a message the king couldn't read? Can you read French or Greek or Chinese? Next time you find a paper with instructions in a foreign language, try reading it. It is pretty frustrating when you can't make any sense of what is written. King Belshazzar must have felt the same way. He knew that the message on the wall was important, probably because it was written with a ghost hand. Okay, that's the first indicator that you might want to pay attention to this. Anywho, why would God write a message message that the king couldn't understand. God didn't want the king just to read the words. He wanted a spiritual person to explain the deeper meaning to him. Some parts of the Bible are hard to understand, and only the Holy Spirit can help us grasp the full meaning of what God is saying. God wants us to know and understand the Bible, and so he has given us teachers, pastors, and parents to explain the meaning of his special message. So let me give you our bonus scripture for the day, and then we're going to talk about this for just a minute. The man without the Spirit does not accept the things that come from the Spirit of God, and he cannot understand them because they are spiritually understood. That's 1 Corinthians chapter 2, and verse 14. That's good stuff. Well, anywho, there's a couple of things to talk about here. One, I want to mention them special cups. You see, when King Nebuchadnezzar went into into Judah and into Israel and kidnapped all them boys, he also took, and this is, you can go back and read in the very first part of chapter 1 in Daniel, he also took a lot of things from the temple. That was kind of like their church of the day. And so they in the, in the temple, they had all these things in there that was uh, honoring God. Well, Nebuchadnezzar took all them things and took them back to his place. Well, now his son is having a party, and they're doing probably a lot of things you're not supposed to be doing. One of them, they was drinking a bunch of wine. So not just drinking wine, but they said, let's drink the wine out of these special cups that's supposed to be dedicated to the Lord. Boy, I, I, I guess he just crossed the line there, and I don't know, but the Lord was clearly not happy about that because he's, had a, a hand, this hand appeared. Can you imagine if it was just a hand showed up, started writing on the wall, doing a message, but then it's in, in writing that you can't understand? 
Well, that's what happened here. So everyone knew David or Daniel by that point. I saw they called Daniel in because he was able to interpret a couple dreams for, for King Nebuchadnezzar. It was Belshazzar's daddy. So they kind of trusted Daniel. So Daniel came in and interpreted that for him. Now, that's what the Holy Spirit does for us, okay? We read the Bible, and sometimes there's a scripture, I'm like, I'm not going to have a tough time with that. I don't really understand what it means. And so we ask the Holy Spirit to help us understand. And he can help us understand. That's a good thing. That's amazing. Anywho, I'm going to pray for y'all, and then we're going to get on with our Friday. I hope y'all have an amazing day. I hope you have an amazing weekend. And we'll get back together on Monday morning. That sound like a plan? All right. Lord Jesus, we thank you for today. What an amazing week it's been. Lord, we continue to pray for our leaders, our, our pastors, our teachers, our police officers, our firemen, all the people in our state that got to make these tough decisions right now. Lord, we pray that you would give them wisdom to make really good decisions. I pray that you watch over all our Kid Nation students as they go about their weekend, Lord, that you keep them safe and that they'd have a lot of friend, a lot of fun this weekend. We're really grateful for that, Lord. We love you so much. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, I love you, Kid Nation. It was good to see you again this morning, and I'll see you all on Monday. Bye-bye.